All right, today's lesson, 3.1.7, what's wrong with this graph? Well, before we get into that, let's actually explore a rule. So the very first one we're going to look at is question number 60. Miss K.I.'s class is studying the dented square. The square is formed by removing a square with a side length of 1 from a larger square. Her students decided to let X represent the side length of the large square and Y represent the perimeter of the entire shape. With that being the case, what is the perimeter of the dented square? Try and figure out a rule for that. Pause the video until you can come back with a rule for this. What should the rule be? All right, you should have your answer by now. What I came up with when I did this was, no, fine, we'll just do it that way. 4x plus 2. So y equals 4x plus 2. The 4x's would be the x length here, the x length here, the x length here, and the x length all the way here, which, oh yeah, that skip, but that would be the same as that right there. So that plus that plus that is an x. Then we have these two little indentations. And because it's a unit length of 1, we know that this is 1 here, and that is 1 there. 1 plus 1 is 2. So the perimeter is 4x plus 2. Remember that. Keep that on your paper somewhere. We're going to get back to that problem in a moment. But before we do, let's look at some graphs where we have some issues. Miss Kai's class is trying to graph this table right here, where 2 equals 8, 3 equals 17, 5 equals 35, and 6 equals 44. But they had some issues. These weren't the brightest 8th graders on the planet. I'm sure this would not be you. The first person who was doing graphing the 2 equals 8 graphed this one right over here. Can you figure out anything that's wrong with that? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Personally, I don't like the fact that they went up by 2 and then just over to 8. They're only graphing the points that are going to show up there. That, to me, doesn't make much sense. You need to kind of scale this with even scales, and, and you need to go beyond 2 and beyond 8 if you're going to be able to fit the entire graph or all the information on this graph. So I don't like this one because it's not going to fit everything, and it just doesn't look very clean and neat. Let's move on to number 2. Do you notice any issues with this one? They have a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5 on there. I guess they don't have the 6 up there, which would have been nice. But look at this. Where should graphs start at? What number should they start with? They should start with the number 0. And both these don't start with 0. This one starts with the y-axis starts with 5, and the x-axis starts with 2. Well, that's not right. I would have also liked to have seen them have at least the number 6 on here and maybe get up to 44 or 45 to get that point, last point on there. So the, that's not a very good graph. Alright, maybe number 3 is better over here. So we'll slide this up a little bit as far as we can. Actually, let's extend that page. What is wrong with this graph? I'll give you a second to think about it. Alright, here's what we've got. I don't like the scale on this axis. By the way, what axis is this? The Y? Well, they didn't label that. That would have been nice. Been nice to have had an X axis over here. But assuming that we even know that, they went from 8 to 17. Are those even scales? 8 to 17? 8 doubled would be 16. So we're not labeled very, we're not going up by the equal increments here. So I don't like that. The other thing here, 8, 17, 17 to 35 is plus 18 more, and then plus 9. They were just way off on their markings here. Also down here, where is the number 1? Where is the number 4? Those things don't work out very well. I'm sure you figured all that out. Finally, a one that looks correct. Look at that and tell me what you do or don't like about this one. All right. 
right, y-axis, does this look good? Starts at 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hey, that looks good. I think we have a good idea what's going. Be nice to get all the way up to 45 so we can fit all the points, but I think they're on the right track here. And then 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anyone catch that? What number did they skip right here? Yeah, they skipped number 1. If you're going to go up by 1s as they're trying to, you need to go include number one. Had they wanted to go up by twos, they should have gone zero, two, four in this spot, six, eight, ten. But they didn't. So when you make your graphs, please make sure that you use correct scaling, your x and y intercepts. Of course, I just said this in my last video yesterday, if you were paying attention. All right, I think that's all we got. Let me just verify here quickly. Yeah. Oh yeah, when you come to school tomorrow, Remember this one, the 4x plus 2? Will you please do me a favor? Graph that for me. Make me a correct graph. Correct scaling. Correct labeling your axes. And then give me a graph of that. Show me what that's going to look like. I think that's all I got for you today. I do. So, we went through today how to get that, 4x plus 2. We went through some bad graphs and what those look like. So make sure you don't make those mistakes. And then what you're going to put down and show me tomorrow in your notes is you're going to graph that 4x plus 2, that shape right there. We will see you tomorrow.